welcome back to another week of 4K. Today, our message says, hello, 4K. Today, we will work on patterns. Love, Miss Sheila and Miss Christy. Do you guys know what a pattern is? A pattern is when it repeats itself. So let's say you have a, you have orange, and then you do green, and then you do orange, and then green. That is a pattern. Today I'm gonna read a book called Bowen. Owen had a fuzzy yellow blanket. He had it since he was a baby. He loved it with all his heart. Fuzzy goes where I go, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Upstairs, downstairs, in between, inside, outside, upside down. Fuzzy likes what I like, said Owen, and Fuzzy did. Orange juice, grape juice, chocolate milk, ice cream, peanut butter, applesauce, cake. Isn't it, isn't he getting a little old to be carrying that thing around? Asked Miss Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the blanket fairy? Owen's parents hadn't. Miss Tweezers filled them in. That night, Owen's parents told Owen to put Fuzzy under his pillow. In the morning, Fuzzy would be gone, but the blanket fairy would leave an absolutely favorite, positively perfect, especially terrific big boy gift in its place. Owen stuffed Fuzzy inside his pajama pants and went to sleep. No blanket fairy, said Owen in the morning. No kidding, said Owen's mother. No wonder, said Owen's father. That's silly. Fuzzy's dirty, said Owen's mother. Fuzzy's torn and ready, said Owen's father. No, said Owen. Fuzzy is perfect. And Fuzzy was. Fuzzy played Captain Plunger with Owen. Fuzzy helped Owen become invisible. And Fuzzy was essential when it came to nail clippings and haircuts and trips to the dentist. Can't be a baby forever, said Miss Tweezers. Haven't you heard of the vinegar trick? Owen's parents hadn't. Miss Tweezers filled them in. When Owen wasn't looking, his father dipped Owen's favorite corner of Fuzzy into a jar of vinegar. Owen sniffed it and smelt it and sniffed it. He picked a new favorite corner. Then he rubbed the smelly corner all around his sandbox, buried it in the garden and dug it up again. Good as new, said Owen. That silly mouse. Fuzzy wasn't very fuzzy anymore, but Owen didn't mind. He carried it and wore it and dragged it. He sucked it and hugged it and twisted it. Look at Owen. What are we going to do? Asked Owen's mother. School is starting soon, said Owen's father. Can't bring a blanket to school, said Miss Tweezers. Haven't you heard of saying no? Owen's parents hadn't. Miss Tweezers filled them in. I have to bring Fuzzy to school, said Owen. No, said Owen's mother. No, said Owen's father. Owen buried his face in Fuzzy. He started to cry and would not stop. Poor Owen. Don't worry, said Owen's mother. It'll be all right, said Owen's father. And then suddenly Owen's mother said, I have an idea. It was an absolutely wonderful, positively perfect, especially terrific idea. First she snipped, and then she sewed, then she snipped again and sewed some more. I wonder what's going to be. Snip, snip, sew, sew, dry your eyes, wipe your nose, hooray, hooray. Now Owen carries one of his not-so-fuzzy handkerchiefs with him wherever he goes. And Miss Tweezers didn't say a thing. 
the end. That's a great book. They had a problem and they came up with a solution. That was a fun story. So we're gonna keep talking about patterns. I have this card in front of me and we're gonna see what a pattern is again. So on the top part, you can see that there's a yellow pattern, purple, yellow, purple, yellow, purple. The pattern continues to repeat itself. Let's see if you can help me with the one on the bottom. I covered the last one to see if you can tell me what it is. There's a green, then orange, green, orange, green, orange, green. What's this one gonna be? Do you know? <gasps> orange, that's our pattern. So for today's activity, I'm gonna ask you to go find your red journal, this one, and turn to the next blank page that you have. And we're gonna use markers or crayons, something that you have, pick two colors. I picked pink and blue, and I'm gonna make a pattern. I'm going to do blue line, and then a pink line, and then a blue line, and then another pink line. And I'm gonna keep on going all across my page to make my pattern a blue, pink, blue, pink. And you don't have to do lines if you don't want to. You can do circles or squares or triangles. Use some of the shapes we talked about last week to make your pattern in your journal this week. Bye, bye. bye, bye.